All right, what is up, everybody? Welcome into today's edition of In the Game. I am your host, Hustle, and today we will be diving into another leg of the Gala film ecosystem. As Gala, obviously, one of my favorite projects. If you watch the show, I, I talk about Gala consistently, and with their entire ecosystem, with the games, the music, and now with the film node launch, I'm going to go through all the details that you need to know on the Gala film nodes and how those will earn rewards for you if you are a potential gala film node holder and shout out to gala as well because they did come out with their music node launch uh, that they did i think believe they went live about 18 hours ago or so so uh very big landmark there and we'll talk about the upcoming gala film node ecosystem in this video as well as how to get involved if you want to participate in the sale which is on august 10th so without further ado let's get in the game T-minus 15 seconds, guidance is internal, 12, 11, 10, 9, ignition sequence start, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. If you ain't here to hustle, why is you here? But if you here to hustle, the moon is near. It's crypto bent and not financial advice. If you don't listen, what's the cost? What's the price? This ain't a game, put you on game. I know you don't play, but he don't say. If you ain't here to hustle, why is you here? But if you here to hustle, the moon is near. It's crypto bent and not financial advice. If you don't listen, what's the cost? What's the price? This ain't a game, put you on game. I know you don't play, but he to play. If you get lost, show you the way. All right, and let's dive right into it. And if you are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to the channel here on Crypto Banter for crypto videos here every single day, as well as like the video if you enjoy the video, as well if you are bullish on the Gala ecosystem and the upcoming Gala film nodes, as well as shout out to Gala, the official sponsor of the show right now uh, for the upcoming Gala film node launch and big you know, landmark once again in the ecosystem. So let's take a look at this exclusive clip on the Gala film node ecosystem and then we will dive into the utility behind those nodes. And if you know the background of the ecosystem that Gala has built, the gaming nodes that they first launched were a massive, massive success. Uh, those founders nodes ended up being a major win for anyone who got in on those very early. They launched their music nodes, I believe, back in February timeline. Uh, early this year, I believe, about six months ago or so. Uh, and then those nodes did go active as of about 18 hours ago. So uh, that was a big step in the ecosystem forward and then with the film node launch as we are seeing on august 10th you know we'll go through here exactly what you can expect if you were to be a node owner not in the gaming ecosystem but in the film ecosystem and really as a decentralized you know if you are in the decentralized world you understand that all the biggest businesses and industries in the world, there's always a middleman, right? In music, it's the record label that's taken away from the artist. In film, it's potentially uh, the studios and the streaming services that take it away from the studios and the actors, etc. So as far as you know, middlemen and consistent businesses, film is one of those businesses that if you were to decentralize your content and give the power back to the fans of that content and people who can actually truly own it, I see the potential in that tenfold as far as digital ownership of entertainment that you know people latch onto and people are attached to these IPs and these TV shows and movies over time. And if you can actually have a piece of tangible ownership of that, I think that is a fantastic way to break into the decentralized ecosystem for the film industry. So as you see here, you'll stay up to date with news and releases from the upcoming Gala film account. Nodes will be purchased with Gala and ETH. So please note that they are non-transferable. So their sale, I believe, is done in Gala token, uh, if I am not mistaken. Your Gala film node software will be installed and ran on Windows, Mac, uh, and it I don't even know what what, uh, what that is right there. So uh, I think Windows and Mac is the primary thing we're looking for. 
uh, to receive rewards, you'll need to operate your nodes so it's available to the network. So whenever you are on the computer, you basically just keep the node system open and you are running your node in the background and contributing to the ecosystem in that regard whenever your node is powering the network. And as we see here, the rewards for node owners, and obviously this is what a lot of people are interested in because this gives you a tangible stake once again as a node owner in the ecosystem powering that network. So when you see the rewards, if you're contributing Contributing to the ecosystem, we want to recognize you once the ecosystem goes live. You'll ha have distribution rewards for your participation, hosting content, and supporting film. So you will be distributed popcorn. And on their music platform, which once again, as I mentioned, Gala Music did go live today or yesterday, uh, technically with their Gala Music nodes. And those earn decibels. So with the Gala Film nodes, they earn popcorn. So I love the little spin they're bringing to each pillar of the ecosystem. They want uh, node owners to be rewarded ahead of the Gala Film token launching. So it looks like they do believe having a token in the future for the Gala Film ecosystem. Uh, you will earn popcorn when you operate the Gala Film node for at least six hours a day. And that's the standard across the game nodes and the music nodes. So six hours a day, you just have the software open, contributing to the network, have your node operating, and you will be contributing to the network and earning those popcorn rewards. You'll collect the popcorn and then the buckets will temporarily boost your distribution by providing you access to running an increased workload once the Gala Film token is live. Obviously, I see the massive, massive value here and being able to, this is like if you were hosting movies and you were hosting songs on your nodes, this is just the opportunity to be like an initial, you're almost like a, a floor level investor into an ecosystem in Web3 that is totally untapped with film, television, music, et cetera. And with film, I just see this big potential with NFTs, with a node ecosystem that powers and hosts film, similarly to a streaming service. I mean, this is literally going to be watch and earn to the fullest. And with those projects that we talked about on yesterday's video, if you missed, uh, with Ghost of Ruins, uh, Making the Chronic, Razor, AI, and Aoko, very, very quality looking shows that are coming, uh, films really actually, uh, shows and films that are coming to Gala Film that I think really will you know, be a good standard to start as far as the ecosystem. The nodes do go live for sale on August 10th. And I do believe that the price for each node is about 5,000 USD. So it's definitely not cheap, but this is an investment that if you were to get into something like that, then it needs to be a long-term perspective, right? This is banking on the future of, once again, an untapped ecosystem in Web3. We could eventually see studios coming into Web3 to decentralize their content if they don't feel like the studio levels are what they need to ink. We could literally see fundraising for films move to the blockchain with NFT sales on assets and actually see studios uh, and like independent studios and filmmakers be able to bring their content over to this side without being gouged by streaming services and launch right on platforms like Gala Film. So if you take that type of a leap and get in on the Gala nodes uh, with the film nodes, that is definitely a bank on an investment uh, in something that will be potentially a long-term opportunity and that will take a while to blossom. But whenever it does, it could definitely uh, be something that you will look back on and be happy that you got in on. I'll definitely be looking to participate in the sale myself. Uh, obviously, this is not financial advice. And uh, Gala, you know, this is not an investment to, to Gala. Like whenever you get into the nodes, this is all about ownership. This is all about being a part and, and banking on the ecosystem. And that's what I absolutely love about the Gala ecosystem. There's pillars of ownership in every single project, every single game, and it all flows back to the overarching ecosystem that powers music, games, and film with Gala Games. And there's a lot of frequently asked questions on the bottom. If you want to know more about the sale, uh, how much will they cost, etc. So those will be updated over time. I believe the price goes up after the initial sale. So they're 5000 and the price will go up at a later date. So if you want to get your hands on those on the public sale on August 10th, and if you want more information, hit the link in the description down below, and you'll be able to check out out more information on Gala Film. And like I said, personally, I'm really excited about this ecosystem. 
as a music note owner, I'm really looking forward to what comes out of the film notes. And they definitely do have some impressive slated, uh, you know, first films coming to the platform as well. You know, in 2021, they did distribute $2.2 billion to the Gala community. So, you know, node owners in this ecosystem and the gaming ecosystem have been heavily rewarded for overarching, you know, the contribution to the network has been huge. And the amount that the community has received in return has been massive as well. So you could only imagine the potential with the film and the music nodes. So this will be interesting to see transpire. And I'm really looking forward to how the sale goes on August 10th. And to close out the video, you know, we're kind of seeing the market go down a little bit. Uh, 3.5% dip on Bitcoin. Uh, you know, definitely not a small dip on Bitcoin whenever it comes down to percentages. And, uh, you know, when Bitcoin itself moves three to 5%, it feels like the, uh, the rest of the market could definitely shift downward. And we're seeing, you know, Ethereum under 1700. And I still remain on the stance that I do believe that we start, you know, heading south, maybe slowly, but surely. And I think we will see those great DCA accumulation prices uh, to eventually get in on projects that have really ran up recently, right? Like with Polygon, we've had our eyes on Polygon uh, for a while. And then with the Disney news, it just got out of hand. Not something that we wanted to DCA into after it 3x up to 90 cents from 30 cents in this bear market. But, you know, down 5%, almost 4% over the last 24 hours. If we can get a, you know, consistent dip off of Polygon and, you know, because it's really not lost its momentum. It's still right there in that 90 cent range, really looking for some DCA ranges whenever this does lose some of its momentum as far as that news event, because that definitely brought them up to a new uh, you know, the, the token really took some momentum off of that. I think that ApeCoin is an interesting one. I've never been a big fan of ApeCoin or I'm not a Yuga. Like there's a lot of people who are hardcore Yuga labs. Like they think they're just, you know, amazing, all this stuff. I think they're fantastic. And one thing about ApeCoin, one to keep on your radar and on your watch lists, because this is one that right now, I believe, technically speaking, is the biggest gaming coin like it's number 33 in market cap i believe this is the biggest gaming coin i mean it's over gala it's over sandbox i know it's over at central land so as far as size and market cap goes this is the biggest quote-unquote gaming coin in the market so you could definitely see with the momentum that board ape mutant ape yuga labs carry on top of the momentum that ApeCoin could carry in a bull we haven't seen ApeCoin in a bull market a lot of people consider it the shiba inu you know right whenever this token launched people called it the shiba inu of web3 gaming like that type of a culture behind the token and you know ape in type of culture so it'll be interesting to see whenever we do go bullish what ApeCoin does and i think it's one to keep on your radar because you know their valuation uh, I believe it was about $4.5 billion. And if they keep building, if they nail the other side, uh, you know, they could even bring more demand to their land. If they do nail the other side, people want to get on, on the assets and get into the ecosystem. As we know, it's a very exclusive ecosystem. There's a lot of pillars to it that you can get in with Yuga Labs, Board Apes, Mutant Apes, Board Ape Kennel Club, all the different legs of the ecosystem. But it will be interesting to see if they nail everything, where ApeCoin could go in the future. And then just keep all the quality projects on your watch list, as always, guys. Ultra's taken a little bit of a bump this week, up 10%. As the rest of the market, for the most part, especially over the last 24 hours, we're seeing a lot of red in that middle column as far as where we are headed. And I think we will see cheaper prices on a lot of these projects, but just always keep your watch lists and build those and trim them down whenever projects lose that real feel of, okay, is this project going to make it out of this bear market? Is this project uh, going to be one that I would bank on 12 months from now, 24 months from now? Like you need to take an approach of, is this a short-term, mid-term or a long-term token? And kind of have those baskets, as I've mentioned in the past, of large caps, mid caps, and small caps. This is not the market for small caps at the moment. So keep the quality ones at the top of your list and always be ready uh, you know, this market can do anything overnight. We all know that crypto is uh, one of the crazier 
markets out there. So always be careful, especially in a market as untapped and emerging as crypto gaming and metaverse. But I don't think we are in the ranges to DCA yet. So without further ado, let's close out the show. I will be back tomorrow with another show. As always, guys, be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for videos here every single day on the channel. I'll be back tomorrow. As always, play well, my friends. Mm-hmm. <laughs>